Hello, my name is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, welcome to my little corner. And if you're an OG, welcome back. Happy Saturday. It is a, another episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. I'm or Dragon Age Inquisition. <laughs> it is Dragon Age Origins, guys. I am in the wrong game. What happened? Um, uh, but this is episode six, and I'm excited to get into uh gameplay. But let's just do a really quick recap. Um, if you guys were here for the last episode, you remember that we were once again betrayed by um well well he wasn't a friend exactly it was someone that we just met but he was certainly trusted by the king and he betrayed the gray wardens and the king and his army left the field and everyone that was fighting the dark spawn was killed off including the gray warden leader um well for this particular sect i guess uh, Duncan. So we have the responsibility, or Alaria and Alistair, I say we because I'm playing as Alaria, I suppose. Uh, we're given the responsibility to uh, light the beacon in uh, the Tower of Vishal. And in the meantime, it was taken over by Darkspawn and all the hoopla. And we were almost killed off. And we were rescued by um, this lady over here named Flemeth. And now we're about to embark on our journey into finding um well using the treaties the gray warden treaties to uh, find or recruit people to help us defeat the dark spawn and uh, i guess uh exact revenge on uh tear and logan all right so let's get on with the show. Um, I'm excited about getting going. I think I did want to ask Morgan some questions before we um, got going. So, or maybe we did. Did we ask her any questions? We might have. I think we did. All right, let's head out. Let's not prolong it. Okay, so our first destination will be Lothering. Um, it's a small town off just off the Imperial Highway at the edge of the hinterlands. So let's head there. Um, hopefully we won't run into any trouble on our way. And hopefully we won't have a long loading screen. Good. Traitor. And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Honora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you. The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Van Tegen, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Van Tegen, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your majesty? And exit, stage left. That was so dramatic. Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. I'd guess the pretty one is the leader. Uh, they don't look much like their mothers. No, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. 
Now, is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, you should listen to your friend. We're not refugees. You're a toll collector, Zen. I don't have that kind of coin. I really don't. Uh, very well. Here's ten silvers. I don't think so. You should listen to your friend. We're not refugees. What could I tell you? No wagons. And this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll. And not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still gotta pay. Oh, he is not wrapped too tight. Forget it, I'm not paying. You're told... Oh, we're, we're repeating ourselves. Okay, well, no, I'm not paying, so forget it. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. Them's the breaks. Uh... Do you really want to fight a Grey Warden? Do we really want to say that we're a Grey Warden, though? You can certainly try. I do want to try to intimidate because I do have that option, so let's try it. I'm not too keen on revealing who I really am, but, you know. Did she say she's a Grey Warden? Them ones killed the king. Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. <clears throat> and Loghain put quite a bounty on any who are found. But are them Grey Wardens good? I mean... Really good. Good enough to kill a king. You have a point. Well, let's forget about the toll. We'll just leave you to your darkspawn fighting, king-killing ways. You know, I don't have a lot of money, but the Grey Wardens could use a donation. Yes. You don't say. They is really good, boss. Remember. Listen to your friend. Well, yes. Twenty silvers? That's all we've collected today. Um, sure. An excellent donation. Thank it. you. Uh, do enjoy your stay in Lothering and all that. Well, that was easy enough. Uh, we have a dead Templar here. Let's see. Yeah, lock it. And yeah, we'll take that. And then there's a note here. We'll take that too. Okay, so we're gonna actually, I think it's this here. Where is it? goodness I really should have is this right here okay so we got like a list of things to do um let's see we are in okay so you discover Rigby's meeting the point okay are these my complete yeah these are my completed quests duh okay Lothering so the bandits we've taken care of those and we did find a fallen Templar. You found the body of a Templar slain by bandits. His corpse had been picked clean of everything, save a note and a locket. Perhaps the locket will, re will mean something to someone back in Lothering. And then we have this one where we dealt with the bandits, and I guess we're going to report them. Um, but let's see if we can get any loot. Plot it. Yeah! Wait, wait. What the... <laughs> I thought we, uh, yeah. I guess they changed their mind. That's fine. Wow. Well, uh. Another battle, I see. I was not expecting them to do that. Like, seriously. Not expecting that at all. He is not doing any damage. <laughs> Are we really sucking at this? This I've never done. Wow. Okay, Alistair. It's just you, buddy. We surrender. Really? We're just trying to get by before the dog spawn get us all. I think that was a glitch because they were supposed to walk away. Totally unexpected. All right, well, you pick the wrong target. Well, apparently they didn't because, I mean, <laughs> I did die. Uh, get by. Get by. You're a criminal. They are a criminal. They are criminals. Um, you pick the wrong yes, target. Yes, yes, of course. We should have been more careful. <laughs> I'm sorry. All well, your dudes are dead now. Now you die. That's all you deserve. I want some questions answered. I'm turning you into the authorities. 
You follow my lead. I can use some soldiers. I mean, are they going to submit? Hand over everything you hand over yes, everything you've stolen. Yes, of course. The coins we collected are right here. Uh, just over a hundred silvers. The rest is in the chest we brought. I swear. Um. Then start running and don't come back. What are you joking, right? No. I could never be a soldier. I thought I. Okay, I guess I didn't. Bless you. The darkspawn can have this place. Yeah, well, it's too late now. Thank you. And I have an injury, I'm sure. Let's give, uh, actually, let's give Augie some more strength. Because I think that helps with his attack. Yeah. All right. And what are we going to Combat training. Um, yeah, let's do that. And um, let's see if we can clear up any okay. injuries. If you must. Do you have any? You do, and I don't have anything on your bar. Not a thing. This is lesser. Mena. We'll worry about that later. Right now, we just need to get you. Okay, so let's loot the Zabades. I mean, I guess that was a bonus. We did get a couple things. You can get off my back. And some silver. I thought I saw something. I guess not. Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. It is pretty. Oh. So you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right. Very <laughs> creepy. Forget I asked. Uh, just get to the point. What, do you, what did you want to talk about, Alistair? You've been very quiet. Um, you have been very quiet. Yes, I know. I was just thinking. No wonder it took so long, then. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. Um, I'll figure, I'll figure it out. Let's just get going. I need to look for Fergus. He might still be alive. Um, the last time she re uh, remembered Fergus was in the Kokiri Wilds on a, on a separate mission. But she realizes that isn't like what that isn't like priority you know they have to figure out a way to, to defeat the dark spawn even though you know fergus her brother is important so i'm going to say we should try to uh we should try and use these treaties i assume yeah i agree have you looked at them <clears throat> uh no not yet there are three main groups that we have treaties for the dalish elves the dwarves of orzama and the circle of magi I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Um, I'll figure it out as we go. Then we need to find these people. Um, I'm not sure any of this. Well, let's go with... First, let's, is there a way to contact the Grey Wardens? Short of leaving Ferelden to seek them out, the only place to send word to would be Weisalpt Fortress. And that's thousands of miles away. Let's see. I'm ready to get going. Okay, let's... Then we need to find these people. I can give you directions, if you like. Okay. Um, where do we find... Will we, will, will we find... Um, well, let's go with Arl Eamon first. will be in Castle Redcliffe, in the far western part of Ferelden, next okay. to the mountain passes. If he isn't there, someone will be able to tell us where he is. And how about the Dalish Elves? If we head eastward... Towards the Brazilian forest, we should hear word of one of the clans that wanders that area. Hopefully, they will still be there. What about the dwarves? We would need to speak to their king in Orzammar. That means heading west into the Frostback Mountains, which won't be easy. Uh, what about the Circle of Magi? That will be at their tower on Lake Kalenhard to the north. We'll be looking for the first enchanter, whoever that is. All right, well, um... 
Where would Logan be exactly? I'm sure she'd want to know that. If he isn't out in the field with his army, he's probably going to be at the palace in Denerim. We can go to Denerim, but somehow I suspect that they're not going to let us just walk around. Of course. Only a suspicion, of course. All right. Well, I don't need more. I do, do, no, I don't. Um, I'm ready to get going. Uh, why are you leaving it up to me? I mean, yeah, I'm like a peon compared to you when it comes to the Great Wardens. I'm new to this thing, buddy. Well, I don't know where we should go. I'll do whatever you decide. <sighs> now that is unsurprising. Aliman is a good man, but I don't know for sure he's where we should go. I'm not going to fight about it. Okay, well, I don't necessarily... I guess Morgan might have an idea. She did um, get recruited by her mother to come with us, so let's ask her. Go after your enemy directly. Mm. Find this man Loghain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming, and it's not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. All right. Um, well, I'm ready to get going. I don't want you to sit, stand here and argue. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. Yeah, let's go. Let's not waste any more time. Let's head out. Let's do the dang thing. Let's go talk to people. Let's loot. There's stuff to be looted. So let's talk about your mother for a moment. All right, all right. I'd rather talk about your mother. Well, there's nothing to talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of a forest? Much more interesting. To you, perhaps. You would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting. You know what's more interesting than that? Apostates, mages outside of the tower. That's illegal, you know. You did not read that in a book somewhere, did you? I hope the small letters did not strain you over much. Oh, we could not talk about your mother. That works for me. <laughs> Back and forth. All right, I don't think there's anybody over here to talk to, pretty sure. I my family to Lothering because I thought it would be safe. Yeah, they're just going to say random things. Okay, so let's head up and over. I believe we can talk to this guy, can we? You don't look like the other folk fleeing the south. Were you in the battle? I was, maybe not. Uh, mind your own business. What makes you think that? Yeah, what makes you think that? You don't look chastened, so you're not from the wilds. And you're not a farmer. I'd guess you saw some fighting. Uh, I No, I don't want to say I'm a Grey Warden. Uh, yes, I was with the King's Army. It's not important. It really isn't. It's none of your business. I really don't want to... I suppose it's not. Okay, I do have some questions, though. I promise I'm going to answer them. Um, what's going on here? What isn't? We've got chastened barbarians in every farmholder south of Kalanhard running from the Darkspawn. Not that they'll be safe here with the army gone. And who's in charge of this village? You could talk to the Elder. Though she's got her hands full getting everyone on their way. For now, most folks go to Sir Bryant. He's head of the Chantry's Templars. Um, you don't have a ruling lord? He's gone to war and taken all his soldiers, leaving us to fend for ourselves. There's not going to be much left when he returns. If he returns. Mm. Sounds ominous. Um, were those bandits always outside the village? Were? You mean they're gone? Yeah. I took care of them. I mean, I kind of did, but yeah. Well, goody for you. Now there's no one to drive off the blighted refugees. Oh, so Brian's would be glad, though. He's been talking about offering a reward for anyone who'd run them out. Yeah, I should go. Don't let me stop you. Okay, that was Catch-22. You there. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you, there's none to be found. Mm -hmm. Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. Uh, what do you mean? We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'd be better off elsewhere, my friend. Sure. Uh, thanks for the warning. 
Yeah. Best of luck wherever you might go. Uh, is there anything I can I'm ask just him? Here to keep okay. Watch. Sure. Uh, oh, look how they moan and wail and gnash their teeth. Tis sad to watch how helplessly they scurry about. <laughs> She's so cold-hearted. Can we loot? Oh. Back off! I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your class. You would dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. It's beautiful. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? Don't be using big words like that. Um... Solve this yourselves. I'm not getting involved. Why would I want to help you? Get rid of the tiny part and I'll consider it. Is your profiteering ruffling some feathers? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could say that, yes. The nerve of these people. I know. He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. Tis only survival of the fittest. All of these cretins would do the same in his shoes. Given the chance. Happens all the time. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. You, sir, are shysty and shady. I'm not interested. Can you beat the offer, sister? Agree. Those of you uh, not here to do business, leave now. You don't think you're being uh, unscrupulous. Okay, so I've really got to decide how I'm going to play her. I'm pretty sure she is an honorable woman, but she also realizes that these are dire times. So, situations and responses may change, but for the most part... Um, honor so let's see uh you don't think you're being unscrupulous would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all they spend their very last coin because they are desperate and this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city ah, i'm not arguing anymore drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers otherwise i'm taking my wagon and leaving i'm taking my ball and i'm going home uh, let's try to persuade him or lower your prices or lose your goods. Hmm. Okay, let's try to persuade him. I think you can compromise and still make a profit. No? Yeah, let's try to be um, tactful here. Perhaps. If that woman agrees, I'm allowed to charge something. Do what you must. So long as the prices do not beggar the needy. Fine, fine, done. And since you don't look too needy, normal prices for you. So, we have come to solve every squabble in the village personally. Hmm? My, but the Darkspawn will be impressed. Thank you for your generous assistance. May the Maker watch over your path. Jeez, Morgan. You are one cold... Yeah. All right. Let's loot, and then we'll talk to him and see what he has. I don't have a lot of money, but I can probably empty out my bags. <laughs> so suppose you're looking to buy something. Why do you think I'm here? Yes, I am indeed. Let me see All what right. you have. Just don't buy everything up. Sure. All right, so what do we have that we can get rid of? Oh, I don't know yet. I mean, I guess we could come back. Um... Uh, okay, first, let me, um, let me see what, oh, the dog's injured. Didn't need to take care of that. Um, I tell you what, I'm going to, I think my bags are okay right now. No, they are not. Uh, okay, let's go do some quests really quick and I'll see what I can get rid of in a moment. Okay, bandits, bandits everywhere, as transcribed on behalf of Sir Brian Templar and Defender of the Faith, know that all those who prey upon refugees do so under pain of death. The Maker spurns bandits and their kind. The Templars offer a sizable reward for the apprehension or execution of the bandit leaders 
plying their trade in the northern wood and roads. Beware, the bandits are numerous and considerable and of considerable skill. Only a well-armed and well-trained party should brave the deep wood. We pray for the succession success of anyone who undertakes this mission. Residents of good standing and passing travelers have indicated there are three bandit groups in the northern wood. This humble chanter would echo Sir, Bryant Cosh, Sir Bryant's caution, lest you wind up on another victim to these evil men. The reward for such service is three sovereigns. May the maker look after his children on in our hour of need. I will take that because there's some... Yeah. The legions of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world Calm like down, a man. plague of locusts. Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at dark spawn hands. There, one of their minions is already amongst us. This woman bears their evil stench. Can you not see the vile blackness that fills her? Goodness. Ignore him, people. I know I intend to. Why do you keep your voice down? Is no one going to shut this madman up? Watch where you throw accusations, fool. Um, oh, why don't you keep your voice down? You're scaring the people. I watch the black heart descend on my people. I will not be silent. Please stop. Somebody shut his mouth. But isn't he right? The ban left us. We're going to die. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us. A minion? You're a waste of my time. Continue ranting if you must. That's enough. This ends now. Uh, don't be a fool, Darcy. Okay, well. Um. How do I want to handle this? I mean. I kind of want to be empathetic, but. He's really working my nerves. Uh, okay, yeah, that's enough. This is enough. No, do not touch me. You bring evil and destruction. It is the end. He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. Was I going to kill him? Uh, that's right. No hope for any of you fools. No, I won't say that. Persuade. There's always hope. Muster your courage. Get out of here. All of you, get moving. Get out of here. I mean, why are you still here? The dark spawn are not that far behind us. Get out of here. Why is this happening? The evil shall descend upon us. Okay, so. All right. I'm going to loot and head into the chantry. Um, I hope I handle that correctly i didn't get any like approval or disapproval so we shall see and in we go there's all right there's a farmer stragglers but no sign of the main horde we are the only hope of protection this village has now and i will not abandon them are you here to see the reverend mother too i think so uh where is she in her office arranging for everyone to leave i suppose I don't think she's with anyone right now. I came to ask for a blessing. With my family abandoning the farm to flee north, we'll need all the grace the Maker can offer. Well, good luck to you. I need to get underway. If I'm lucky, I'll make it back to the farm hold by nightfall. You're going to die. Yep. Okay. Uh, talk to Sir Bryant. Yes, my lady. Who might you be? I am Zog. Okay, I am the Grey Warden Alaria. Do I want to tell him that? You can call me Alaria. Nobody of importance. Pardon me, I didn't mean to interrupt. Pardon me, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, he did ask me who I was. You can call me Alaria. I am Sir Bryant, commander of Lothering's remaining Templars. You don't seem like the other refugees. Are you one of Arl Eamon's knights? Why is everybody asking me that? Um... And if I were? I'd tell you what I told the others. Nothing here will assist your quest. The urn of sacred ashes is a myth. Well, I'm not. Um, 
I am a gray warden. Let's just tell him. Be honest. I see. Tan Logan declared all gray wardens traitors responsible for the king's death. You know this, I hope. Yeah, I do, apparently. Now, um, we didn't do it. I don't believe the Grey Wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims. But either way, there it is. It is best you not linger, though. Just in case. Um, yeah, well, are you in charge here? The revered mother leads this flock. I merely command her Templars. Normally, our role is to protect the Chantry and seek out unsanctioned magic. For now... It is all we can do to protect the innocent. Hmm. Okay, um... Let's see. Where would I find the revered mother? I was already told that. Are you the only protection this village has? Our ban was summoned by Tan Logan as he took his soldiers north with him. Lothering has been abandoned. Um... Tell me something. Oh, let's see. How do the Templars fight against magic? We have more than swords at our disposal. We're taught to dispel unholy magics as well. If only our powers work to keep away the darkspawn. Alas, it is not so. Hmm. All right, so where do I find the revered mother? In her study, no doubt. Preparing what she will take when we eventually evacuate. Uh, tell me something else. If the matter is important, certainly. Um, have you heard any recent news? Other than the Darkspawn Horde bearing down on us, none of it is good. Teon Loghain is set to declare himself king, I hear. Disaster piled on disaster. Uh, king Kaelin has no heir? None that we know of. Teon Loghain has no legitimate claim on the throne. He may be a hero, and his daughter may be queen, but he is a commoner, and the king's corpse is barely cold. If Arl Eamon was able to intervene, perhaps it would not have gone this far. I do not care who takes the throne. Only fools fight over who owns a cottage while it burns down around them. Um, what is wrong with Arl Eamon? Arl Eamon has fallen ill, and his knights are on a quest for the sacred urn filled with Andraste's ashes, said to cure any malady. He must be very ill if they chase miracles as the only cure. One of the Arl's knights, Sir Donal, is here searching for fantasies while... Never mind. Ask him if you care about this foolishness. Hmm. Is there any other help you can offer? I cannot openly help you, I fear, but... Here, take this key. It opens the large cabinet on the far wall. There is more there than we can carry when we evacuate, so take what you need. Thank you. Um, things seem very dire in the village. Yeah, it does. They are. With the ban having taken his men north, the village is left to its fate. We will evacuate as many as we can before the Horde reaches us. I will stay as long as I am needed. Now, unless there's something else you need... Um, no, I should go. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. Yes. Uh, I have no idea how to... Okay, so... Let's see. Refugee Sir Donald. Let's talk to him. Let's pick up this book first. It's an XP. Uh, did I... Miss anything back here? No. Okay, let's talk to Sir Donald. Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. So you're here looking for the urn of sacred ashes, then? I am indeed. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness, but I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. Um, shouldn't you be fleeing the dark spawn? Uh, no, actually, I was hoping to meet Al Eamon. Arl, Al Eamon. Arl Eamon, in fact. Why is that, if I may ask? Um, we need his help against Terran Loghain. Yeah, we do. I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Tan Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Tan has done or not done, the Arl remains ill or worse. That is my primary concern. Okay, well, do you think... No, she wouldn't know that. Um, is there any point in going to Redcliffe? Do you have any advice? If Arl Eamon were well, I have little doubt he would assist you. 
My quest, however, remains the same. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesa is there, and she could tell you more than I could. Okay, um, shouldn't you be fleeing the Darkspawn? Good luck to you. Oh, that's and not what I meant answer. to do. I hope to one day see you again. Turn it. Can and I... you, Sir Donald. Can I, like, still talk to him? Ah, it is good to see you again. Allow me to mark my place in my book. Now then, what can I do for you? I was going to ask you, shouldn't you be fleeing the Darkspawn? My mission takes priority. But I fear I shall be returning to Redcliffe with nothing to show for my efforts. Uh, so your quest for the ashes brought you here? Well, obviously. That, I mean... Um, oh, yeah, your friend, Sir Henrik, is dead. I have something of his. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. You're welcome. I drove off the bandits that killed him. Thank you. I didn't. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. Um, tell me more of the sacred ashes, urn of sacred ashes. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. I mean, she would know of it, but for the sake of the audience, well, I'd simply like to hear what you've learned. you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Well, oh, jeez. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, my lady. You have been most helpful. Okay, well, uh, excuse me. Well. And when the maker spoke, you're the one chant of light scattered in the darkness. Of a word to spend, Maybe she was fear ugly. and ignorance. Maybe she had Let those too. who cry out from the How shadows be comforted. Let those who seek redemption be delivered. I'm just gonna rob the chantry it. blind here um actually i think we picked up a gift let me see um where is it plot items is it nope 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 nope, nope. accessories nope wait did we get something nope surveyor willpower we're gonna give that to um morgan actually but i believe i picked up I thought I picked up a gift. I guess I didn't. I picked up something. Okay, so this is a gift. These things you'll see um, I'll, that I'll pick up randomly. And I'm sure some people that are watching this, some of you guys have already seen this. But there are some people, again, that are watching that have not. These um, help with your approval ratings. Um, I do tend to use these quite a bit but this time around i think i'm going to try to increase my approval Im approval increase my approval with them um and, then and use the gifts sparingly we'll see and then shall the maker all right all right okay that was much needed the black city in heaven and then yeah. shall the chant of light make it pure let all mankind be humble. Let's talk Let to the sister. Oh, oh. But I must prepare the Chantry's vestments Only before we flee. It's very the darkness time. upon us. Okay, and no problem. And here is the... Um, I forgot what her name is. The Revered Mother. Let's talk to her. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry, my friend? You look like you have salvaged more of value than most who make it here. Lady, I am just as poor as you are right now. I'm so serious when I say that. I really have nothing to offer. I'm lying. I probably do. Uh, what tithe is acceptable? I mean, these people do need help. Might I suggest 30 silver? Oh, <laughs> you're asking a lot. Um, I mean, maybe it might... Yeah. Okay, 30 silver. I mean, that's going to hurt. Thank you, dear woman. What You're welcome. What can I do for you then? Can you give me 20 silver back? <laughs> I am a gray war. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I... 
Okay, let's just go ahead. We told everybody else we're Grey Warden, so can, we'll just tell her. A Grey Warden? Here? Oh dear. You put me in a difficult position. You must know that Tan Logan declared the Grey Wardens to be outlaws. Look, Linda. Okay, I've heard, but on Logan is, well, what do I care for Logan's lies? The Tan claims that the Grey Wardens are responsible for the King's death. There is a price on your head. Lay low, and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Now, if there is nothing else... Uh, can you provide any help to the Grey Wardens at all? I cannot help you without risking the safety of this village enchantry. The best I can do is keep your presence a secret. I am sorry. Okay, fine. Now, if there is nothing else... <sighs> I was hoping to receive your blessing. Do I really want her blessing? I mean, she just sounds like she doesn't want to be bothered. May the maker guard you, Grey Warden. I mean, she just keeps sighing. I don't want your blessing. Not giving it willingly? I don't want it. So I'm going to head out the door. And on to the next... We've actually got a couple quests that we need to do. Um, I'm actually going to, uh, well, yeah, let's go to the, to the next area. Is there anything else here while I'm, okay, not yet. All right, so we're going to go into this tavern here. I think it's a tavern. And let's talk to this little boy here. Have you seen my mother? No, I have not seen your mother. Uh, beat it? That depends. Who is your mother? Yeah, I wouldn't know. Uh, you poor thing. Yes, you poor thing. Did you and your mother get separated? Of course they did. It's the main men with swords came. And mother told me to run to the village as fast as I could. So I did. So she cute. She said she'd be right behind me. But I've been waiting and waiting and I can't see her. Aw. Um... Do you know where your father is? Yeah. He went with William to the neighbors yesterday, but he didn't come back. Oh, poor child. Okay, well, come with me. I'll help you look for your mother. Mother said I wasn't to go with anyone. I'm supposed to wait for her here in the village. Okay, well, go to the Chantry, child. Someone will look after you. Well, you're probably hungry. So here, take the silver, buy something to eat. A whole silver! Wow, thank you. You're a really nice lady. Kind of like mother. I should go look for her. Oh, me. no, you should not. You should not go look for your mother. And here I was complaining about 30 silver, and he was so, like, elated. So tell me something, Mother. Elated. Did you live there in that forest your entire life? I left it on occasion, but I always returned. Why? Is that so strange? It was my home. But it was just you and your mother there? No one else? Mother occasionally had company. What? Company? Do I even want to ask? No, you really don't. Okay. Like I said, I was so, like, worried about 30 silver and he was just it's ecstatic really about getting about. one. Makes you feel bad. Like, really bad. Well, look what we have here, then. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh. Low gains, men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about a woman by this very description, and everyone said they hadn't seen her? It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. Wow. Mm -hmm. Um, it looks like he wants a fight. I'm happy to oblige. Yeah, I'm in the mood. Uh, what makes you think we're traitors? I don't need your help, miss. Please stand back. Let's talk about things before. No, I am looking for a fight. I am feeling quite froggy. Right. Let's make this quick. Let's do this. Watch I get killed. <laughs> Ah, that's funny. Oh. 
right, you've won. We surrender. Good. They've learned their lesson and we can all stop fighting now. I don't want them reporting to Logan. I really don't. Well, the Grey Warners didn't be uh, betray King Kalen. Logan did. I guess that's really kind of unnecessary to repeat because people are not going to believe us. Uh, they aim to... Okay, let's... I don't want them going back to Logan. I don't want to be a butcher. Please wait! They have surrendered. They were no match for you. Let them be. Fine. Take a message to Logan. What do you want to tell him? Uh, he'll pay for what he's done. We're coming for him. I'll tell him right away. Now, thank you. I apologize for interfering, but I no, couldn't just sit by and not help. And who are you, anyhow? Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. Okay, um, I'm Malaria. A pleasure. Those men said you're a Grey Warden. You will be battling the Darkspawn, yes? That is what Grey Wardens do. I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. Oh, okay. Um, I'm sorry, sister, but you are very mistaken. Why so eager to come with me? I need help, that's true. And just what help would you be to me? Um, well, I mean, we can use all the help we could get. But why are you so eager to come the with me? The told me to. Okay, right. Um, can you elaborate? I, I know that sounds absolutely insane, but it's true. I had a dream, a vision. More crazy? I thought we were all full up. Look at the people here. They are lost in their despair, and this darkness, this chaos, will spread. The Maker doesn't want this. What you do, what you are meant to do, is the Maker's work. Let me help. I mean, we do need the help. Um, very well. I will not turn away any help when it's Perhaps offered. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. Okay, so we have a full party, and we're going to let Augie go and bring Indeed. in Liliana. Uh, but we do have a whistle for Augie, so he will be able to travel with us at all times. Um, so I'm going to bring him up. Okay, now we're going to loot, and there's a man with a quest mark. Oh, wait. There's... Well, that's in the other room. Okay, let's talk to him. You're here about to so take it up with that blade run by the chantry. I got other gear to sell. Oh, okay. Um, actually, farewell. Let me um, let me equip Liliana, and I will be right back. 